Jeff Gerstmann. Hello, Ben Pack. Congratulations once again on, on fatherhood. Um, I, I brought you in here because I believe now you can be an expert and help me figure out the answer to this important question. Not me, per se, but my friend Vincent here. Uh-huh. Um, this is a softball, Jeff. This is a really easy... You, you can get this, right? Okay, all right, I great. know you know all right, what great. to say here. Okay. All right, and then this Vincent just needs your help, and left or right is kind of all we need to know. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, do you, what, do you, what do you say? Does life... Uh, uh, you know, these are... These are bad options for this. No, well... You said it. You, Jeff, you reached over, grabbed the control out of my that's hand, not, that's not winked at me six times, and then hit the button here in Catherine full body. Uh huh. This is the new old Catherine. That's right, new Catherine, same as the old Catherine, but not. But also a new new Catherine. Uh, there's literally a new Catherine. There's literally a new Catherine. The Mad Men did it, so we have obviously K Catherine. Yeah, Catherine with the K. Kathy with the K. Kathy with the K. Longtime girlfriend of Vincent here. Mm -hmm. Seven years or something like that. Yeah. She's talking about you know taking it to the next level. Oh boy. You know when are they? Her parents are pressuring her. Yeah. Uh, Vincent's kind of in a dead end job, and then. Uh, as we will see here a little bit, there's another Catherine. Mm -hmm. Catherine with a C. Kathy with a C. Sort of a, a temptress-like mm. character. Um, but then they, they, they freaking did it. They found a third way to spell Catherine, and it's total bullshit. It's Q-U-A-T-H-E-R-I-N, I think. It definitely starts with a Q. Quathrin? But let's just call her Rin. Because that's what the game does. Oh, they just call her Rin. Okay. They just call her Rin. Because right. they know. You know, people uh, it's, people want a unique spin on a common name, right? They want a name that right. doesn't always sound um, wild and weird, but they still want to put their own stamp on it. I just found out my old boss, I went, I went out uh, drinking with some old coworkers last night. My old boss had a child named Navy Bay, and then last name. Navy Bay, last name. How do you feel about the, the name Navy Bay? Navy uh, dash Bay. Like literally with a dash, or yeah. like Bay is the middle name? No, literally. The f the first name of the child is Navy Bay. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not a fan. That's okay. Uh, uh, but also, like, I think people like also. Uh, I think people should should be coming up with new names for people. Yeah. You know, uh, the, the, instead of these, just like. I don't know, it's a boy, so here's just some generic single syllable name. B bort. Yeah, like a bort. Or like, uh, uh, dove. You know, just like a ch chimney. Yeah, that's not a single that's syllable, not a but, I, but I get what you, yeah. Chim. Chim for short. Yeah. Chim chim. Chim cham. Uh, it, we, we need to do better with names. We do need to do better with names, uh, like like Kuatherin. Kuatherin. Kuat. Kuat. So I, I get why a set of parents might say like, "Well, Catherine is a name we like, but like, not. We we can do better. We can we can we can put our own stamp on this and make oh, it our Jesus. own." Oh, Jesus. oh uh, don't tell anyone. Undo. Undo. Hey, remember uh, remember Catherine? Like sort of, dude. Uh, like barely. So this yeah. <laughs> Oh, God damn it! For good reason, or not? I mean, okay. Let's just let's just talk about this game. This game is a pretty faithful remake of. Ca Are you having some trouble? Yes. Remember, you can always go back and undo some of your. Undo. Undo. Uh, <laughs> this is Catherine. Um, they they did a faithful job of kind of recreating what people liked about Catherine. Um, and what was that? That was this part. I, I, I honestly think this is like the most appealing part of Catherine, the, the part where you play the part where you play a video, video game. game, Catherine. Um, I might say, and this is you know, and, and this is me trying to remember the game that I played when it came out and have not thought much about since. Um, okay. I might say that this ended up being my least favorite part of Catherine. Oh, interesting. Um, so. Are these just the heavy blocks? Okay, they're heavy blocks. I thought I couldn't move them. That makes yeah. this a lot easier. Yeah, no, you're, you're on the move. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I feel like, you know, 
what can you say about Catherine that hasn't been said? It's a game that is kind of split between two halves. Half of it is this kind of action puzzler game, which is mostly the same. Uh, they've rebalanced some of the items. Now you create a three by three. I think that used to just be like a one block oh, okay. that you would drop, yeah. but now it's like a whole platform. Um, so they, oh, they've done stuff like rebalance it. They've, they've added what they call a, uh, oh, it's basically an assist mode. It's uh, the mode I'm on right now. You have these kind of unlimited backs here, and then I can just press R1. Uh huh. And it'll autoplay. Oh, that's uh, way easier. So if you're like Jeff, and this is the part of the game that you didn't like the most, you can just kind of watch the CPU uh, CPU guy play the game. Um, will it just let me? Oh, pull. you can just kind of jump in wherever. Can, yeah. yeah, sure. Uh, so that's good for like you know obviously new players, but if you just want to see like. Oh boy, I barely scraped by this one. How could I do that like better? You can go right, back. like what what trick did I like obviously miss here? Right, and this game has always been about kind of slowly unfolding all the tricks. Mm -hmm. uh, when we get to the top here, there's a there's that little hub area where you save, but there's also like a professor who will teach you like basically like uh, like moves and right. like jargon. Like yeah. this is a double. This is how you do a double skip. Let me show you. Um, but then aside from minor balance changes, uh, some of the stuff that they, some of the other stuff that they added, obviously a third Catherine, which I will say has minimal involvement in the story at this point. Okay. Uh, this is between chapters two and three, uh, and literally all that's happened is you bumped into her uh, on a dark night as she was being chased by something, and she showed up at the bar you like playing piano. Huh. Uh, and what I've heard about the game, this has been out, uh, this came out in Japan in February. Yeah. Um, so it's been out for a while now, people kind of figured out the story before this released here. But uh, you kind of really have to go out of your way to even get her involved in the story. It is still mostly a story of the two Catherine Cath and So it's more like two and a half Catherines. <laughs> yes. Two and a half Caths. Two and a half Caths. Yeah. Um, the one's got a shower, one's got a bath, and one's just a... Usually One's going to become a Christian mm -hmm. rock off so uh, star. Crispy. Um, and so if you've never seen Catherine, kind of, you get these anime cutscenes no, in between. This stuff, like I said, mostly the same as the first game. Yeah. Can't forget to eat your veggies. Well, I put ketchup on almost everything. <laughs> Vincent, you're such you know a goofball. What? I've literally had that exact conversation before. <laughs> Maybe is, is this how it ended? You don't have to... <laughs> I know, I, we just took some workplace training. Yeah, I, you do not have to answer that question, Jeff. I want to make it perfectly clear. Uh, I'm going to answer that question, but I'm going to answer it to HR <laughs> and say, I can't believe he asked me this. <laughs> you're going to, you're going to, and here's the answer for your, Let's yes. Do this again tomorrow. <laughs> you're going to go to HR and be like, look at the, did you guys see the most recent Catherine quick look yet? Yeah. Can you believe Can you what? believe this? He asked me about this, and then I, I the answer is this, but I didn't tell that to him. So you have that nice flashback of kind of you and, and Kay Catherine, but uh-oh, what's going on here? You fucked up, dog. You fucked up, dog. <laughs> oh, that's such a good face. Yeah. There's something almost like Juji Ito about it. <laughs> Marriage is just a tradition, right? And so presumably this is the night before. I'm gonna skip some of this. This is similar, if not the same, to old Catherine. Uh, also going on in the world, there's people dying in their sleep, waking up as a corpse. Uh, like almost a mummy-like okay, corpse. Okay, yeah. See, yeah. It, it, honestly, like uh, you know so much of the story of this game is such a blur. Like I barely remember it. It's just like, okay, I remember, there, I remember the two Catherines. I remember Vincent kind of sucks. Yeah. Um, and you hang out in this bar a lot. Yeah. Uh, That's kind of the other half of the game, right. quote unquote, is you talking to people, answering text messages and emails and the like. Well, when the hell were the other two? When we were kids, you're the most Pause. But yeah, there's a whole thing going on of like people go to sleep and have nightmares and die from the nightmares. Yeah, and, and you're having those nightmares but because you're climbing the tower, you're not dying, right? That's right. That's the implication. Whoa, really? Pause. Skip. And then, yeah, is the, isn't there some kind of... Uh, so here we go, this oh. is... Coming for me! So you, like, uh, uh, you kind of get knocked out when you bump into her, and you wake up, and you see... This. 
<laughs> I remember there being like some, uh, the, maybe the notion that like other Catherine cheating on with Catherine yeah, is not Catherine. real. Uh, There's I, something that, that gets, going on. That gets on. resolved, yeah. yeah. But, but, but I, yeah. There, like, I, yeah, nobody really knows what her deal is, and then the more time you spend okay. with her, the more you realize Hello. there's something Hello. off about her. Right. Okay. Never mind that. Uh, how about a name? Uh, uh, Rin. Rin? Uh, that's a nice name. Uh, who is that, though? She's got amnesia. Okay. Not piano amnesia, though. Nope. Oh, maybe no. maybe she does have. No, yeah, turns out so. they thought of everything. This yeah. Crafty that? bastards of Atlas. Amateur hour. Oh, I always thought about this game. Uh, it's working really hard. Uh, well, I, I think that the waitress ended up being the most likable character in the entire game. Sure. Oh, it was. Uh, and also, I, I also like the host lady, the lady with the afro. Oh She's yeah, got yeah, a double yeah, afro yeah, in this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Right. Yeah, because it's kind of framed, like the dream stuff is also kind of framed like a TV show. Yeah. Uh, which Atlas loves to do. So that, that's the other thing I was going to say about this game is that uh, I think of this game as the rock star table tennis of Atlas. <laughs> sure. Of like, hey, we've got to get used to making games on this Xbox 360 and PS3 right. so we can make a proper Persona or Shin Megami Tensei game someday. Yeah, I mean, they took fucking forever. <laughs> yeah, and then it was like, uh, it was, they were in a, Vincent was like a character in a bar in Persona 3? Yeah, there's or some. Or maybe 4 as like but a. Like, but like, not, maybe not even regular 4, was it like, like the updated? I think like regular 4, you could talk to him and he said something generic, and then 4 Golden, he said something maybe like, it boy, like, I've been sleeping weird. Right, Or yeah, something, yeah, yeah. you know. So it's like they kind of thought, they had at least had an idea in mind to like take one of these side characters and make it kind of like a side quest thing. Yeah. Um, last guy just. So what I, I uh, you might remember kind of around when this game released in Japan and and translations and stuff started to hit of what happened in the story. There was a bit of a controversy around maybe some. Uh, parts that were perceived as transphobic. Yes. Uh, from what I've read, I haven't played through the English version yet, but from what I've heard is the US localization maybe tones it down a bit. Mm. Um, maybe still a little problematic. I, that's, uh, I feel like Atlas's relationship with trans characters in general, uh, yeah. they've, they've always had, they've never quite gotten it right. <laughs> Yes, so, uh, but it sounds like uh, they at least heard what people were saying, uh, yeah. the, we the Western audience specifically, and, and wanted to adjust it a little bit. So yeah, I can kind of choose who I want to talk to. I can just be a little introvert. Sometimes you get texts from Kay Catherine. If I took a shot every time she hit a wrong note, that's a deal breaker for me. No matter how cute. This is presumably new dialogue, right? Talking yeah, about yeah. You and Rin. have been together a long time, right? What was it like in the beginning? I just want to know for ref. Eh, it wasn't anything special. There was oh. no reunion. He was giving her dating advice. Then he ended up falling for her himself, right? He ran to her side in the middle of the night when she was depressed. After all, I like this crew. It's they're different enough, but they all have the same yeah. shitty vibe. Right? <laughs> yeah, you can see this this collection of fucking idiots hanging out together for sure. You got a mail. You can take. <laughs> you got, got a, a mail. You <laughs> <laughs> Um. So you know. I would say the the story stuff mostly the same. Let's check our mail, and then maybe we'll pop back because the the other stuff they've added is maybe more interesting to me as somebody who liked the actual game. Sweet. Go to award from the cell phone menu. Mm hmm. Okay. Prison of Despair. Hold on, guys. I'm just checking my Prison of Despair rewards. Oh, you have Prison of Despair installed? Yeah, I uh, they have a guaranteed five star drop. Uh, Roll right now if you oh, beat it on normal. Wow. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, there's also this remix mode, and it seems kind of cool. Uh, I can actually show that off, but it's like the blocks are kind of shaped like Tetris pieces, mm. and so you're moving like four blocks oh, at a okay. time. Yeah. 
it seemed like a decent way to like, if you liked the puzzle and wanted to play through again, but also play through something new. Right. You can check that out. Yeah. Um, so they've also, the, they brought back Babel, which is kind of your endless, mm -hmm. well, it, it can be endless. It also, uh, you just unlock stuff as you go. I haven't tried this two player yet. Jeff, you have a controller. Um, I want to just see what All this right. looks like Red. here. Vincent, I will be not Vincent, not Vincent. Vincent. I know you unlock more of these battle stages as you play. I wonder if you're unlocking more characters too. These are also the characters you play in the multiplayer. So alter yeah. first stage, fairly basic. It's got it says over there what you've got, um, which this one is just pretty much basic and heavy blocks. And then we have to clear the third night to get these. There's one, one, two, three, four, five, five of them. Okay. And then this is pretty much this is meant to be co-op. Uh, this this can be co-op um, or solo. But it's right, like okay, but it's not meant. It's not meant to be competitive. Is no, what, is no, what I'm no. getting at, because that's the other. Yeah. yeah, there is a local co-op that's unlocked right out the gate, which is nice because in the original Catherine, you had to play through the entire game to unlock right, that. Right. Yeah. All the esports Catherine people had to bring their saves places, right? Yep. Stage one, the altar. There's, now, that's the, the yeah. TV lady. Yeah. Yeah. The double How afro is a very powerful. It's like a cooler like a Mickey lady Mouse. Of rage. Afro puffs sort of situation. Yeah. All right, so one, five, let's climb. Uh, and you start with three items there. Uh, oh boy, I've already, I've already screwed the pooch a little bit on this one. I was, oh my god, I was playing this so, so well before. Wait, no, we're fine. Um, did I knock you off or did you jump off? No, I jumped off. Okay. Uh, uh, and then you go like this, and then you go like that. Okay, as long as it's, that's right, as long as it's touching anything, even a diagonal, it still stays up. Yeah. Okay. I'm wondering if this is, so I'm glad we're hearing this. I'm glad we're hearing her say new record every time you climb up one thing. Yep. Uh, and I guess this is maybe a co-op specific record because I got to like, you know, 60 or something when I did it solo. That was a good yee -hoo. Um. 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 Uh. What's up? I. Whatever. I'm gonna drink this Red Bull. Wait, oh, that, why can that... I not make that? Oh, shot. Okay. Alright. Uh. Hey, what's going on over here? Uh, this stuff got bad over here. Good thing I wasn't here. It would have been worse. Boy, I sure wish I had that professor dude teaching me tactics right now, because I I liked this game all right, but I was never, like, good at Catherine. Yeah, quote, I was good enough to finish Catherine, but that, that, I think that's part of it. Like, I I never felt like I was any good at this part of the game. Yeah. Uh, and... And, uh, and then I can push this guy over to you. Look at that. Uh, okay. There's something kind of neat about this being co-op, like you... Yeah. It's the opposite skills of versus mode, where instead of, but it's sort of the same thing of like, oh, <laughs> um, I'm going over here. Uh, wait, it's not. New <laughs> rep. I don't. How did you? Oh, I see. Ah! Uh, when we were so, fuck, when we were setting up for this, Jan called this game Reverse Cubert, and I've been thinking about that since, and how it's like just close enough where I like it, mm -hmm. but it still makes me upset. Like your ugh and wrong way from Cubert, jumping on the wrong sides of the cubes, up to the bottom. And you're cussing in English. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is Coliseum. This is the local co-op or local versus. 
I got this. We'll laze through one of these. Got it. Smoke your ass at some Catherine. Here I go. We picked Coliseum. The final destination of the Catherine world. Yeah, that's of course. I wouldn't play anywhere else. Oh wait, I, are items on? Uh, yes. Fuck, what the fuck are you doing? You joke, but there is a <laughs> there's a whole like list of viable Catherine stages in the competitive Catherine scene because some of them are just well. Oh yeah, we're it's verses. I was being nice and waiting, but now I'm gonna be mean and go mm -hmm. fast. Player one is in the lead. I was. Mm. Yeah, what's up? Edge. Edge. Hey. What? No! Yeah, what's up? Edge. No! Edge. Good music uh, in this game, which is probably one of the more underrated uh, Atlas soundtracks. I would say everyone loves the Persona music for good reason. Yeah. But this game had some good shit. Oh, what's a skull do? Oh, I'm turning. Oh God, I'm turning blocks into. I'm like loot randomly. What the? Did you make us invisible? Yeah, uh, there was one that said turn self and opponent invisible, and I thought that would be a real fucking shitty thing to do. Well, he saw you me there though. He <laughs> fucking saw me there. Round two, round oh man. Go. Layer two, you're running out of time. Oh. Oh. This. Edge, edge, edge. Edge. This. Good luck to both of you. Thank you. Edge. Oh yeah. <laughs> My favorite thing about competitive Catherine is there is so basically you can pin an opponent if you like drop on top of them and they have nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. uh, and the custom in tournaments is to take a selfie of you and your opponent while you're pinned waiting to die. <laughs> Nice. I have no control over my actions. Yeah, I was gonna say that was, that's a bad. That's why I play video games is because that is usually not true. Yeah. Fuck. Player two. All right, this is it. Play video games so I can have so I can have control over at least one thing in my life. Right. I can't control these giant blocks of my life. I want to control these giant blocks of Vincent's. Depressed life. Ah! I just inadvertently made a sheep sound. <laughs> Who will emerge the victor? No, his name's Vincent. Oh, I'm fucked. Ah, the skulls! Maybe I'm not fucked. I really liked the sounds I was making there. Uh, oh, I, I touch it. Oh, I, I, did I fuck up? Did I fuck up? I can't even see well enough down there to see how fucked I am. Yeah, this game is fucked. And then so there is an end point, right? Uh -huh. You can see there on the left is kind of what's going on. Turn itself. Yeah, hell yeah. Wait, am I not? Oh. Yeah. I Oh, I like that little sheep dance. Yeah, that's fun. All right, let's go back. And then the last thing they added is online multiplayer. Yeah. Which is cool because, you know, there's a small yet really dedicated audience of people who like to play this game with other people. That's fun that they that they recognized and and did that. Have you tried much of the online? Is there, I how's the net code? Yeah, have it's any, bad. Okay, yeah. That's, um, that's, that's also the thing I assumed. Yeah. Wait. Do you play the that's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Musical menus are always good. Um, yeah, so I, I've played, let's say, roughly a dozen matches. Mm -hmm. Two of them have completed. <laughs> um, I couldn't, one, one or two looked like an opponent quitting. It was yeah. like a match ending as somebody was about to die. Mm -hmm. But most of them were just, there was a failure in connection. So we'll see here. 
see if you even find anybody. Let's guess. Okay. All right. I, I will say it's been uh, you know not that long wait times. Probably yeah. like thirty seconds max. That's I cool. mean, the game just came out two days ago. Yeah. So now is the time to play Catherine online. Right. This is a nightmare for the both. So you see uh, that I one bar. One Here we bar. go. I don't have any ranked points. None of my ranked games have finished. Ready? Go. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is sure is a one bar connection. <laughs> All right. I don't know. It looks normal to me up, from here. I, you know, right, I'm not touching it, but up. I, up. There we go. I think uh, I'm good. Huh? I'm just running on all these fucked up crack blocks. There's no time to be dead. You gotta be Layer kidding me. Get the hang of this. Get a little Rocket League style. Yeah. Chat wheel. And from what I can tell, like all four of those are just randomly generated. I'm sure pulling from like a larger pool or whatever, right, right. but. You get different ones. Ow. I got him right where I want him. Oh, no, no, no! Did he quit? No! Or are you... Are, what? Jeff, there's no way to know, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if this will end, though. Come on, before it disconnects. Wow, that looks good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will say I remember the launch of Persona 4... No, that wasn't... No, never mind on that one. Uh, it's a bummer, dude. Yeah. It's like, it was such a cool thing that they announced that they were doing this. Yeah. Bad netcode. Bad netcode. Bad netcode has been fixed before yeah. by various yeah, yeah. companies. So hopefully they are working on some sort of net performance patch. Uh, but this is a $60 video game. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, yeah. And, and it's, you know, it's it's 2019. I'm not saying netcode's easy, because what the fuck do I know? Right. Um... But, but shipping a game in that state uh, in this day and age, uh, even even a game that you you look at and go like, well, that's not the main draw. It's a cool feature. It's nice. It's nice to have. It's not a not a key thing. Right. But at the same time, like that, for a lot of people, it might be a, the key thing that they come to this game for. So that, exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. Ah, uh, your H rank. You got to get your H rank up higher. Oh well, I should just go on Steam then and look at the top charts. Yeah. Shout to Ninja Dave, third best H rank Catherine player. That's right, Ninja Dave. Uh, Battle an online opponent. Um, and that's kind of it. You know, it, 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 it this really comes down to what you what you I I don't know what people would want out of this. If you've never played Catherine before and you're interested in the idea of Catherine, it's probably worth picking up. It seems to yeah, be like, yeah, a, yeah, like I mean, a, hey, I want to play through the single player of Catherine and maybe a couple matches with my friend. Mm -hmm. That seems or, like it, I came away from Catherine after finishing it, saying I'm never going to play Catherine again. I saw the stuff unlock, but I still felt like okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with having played that. Yeah, uh, it, it's, it was a story, start to finish, sure, and all that sort of stuff, and some interesting uh, characters, some interesting like themes. But yeah, ultimately maybe a little clumsy in some areas. Yes, but, you uh, know, yeah, uh, it's this this. To me right now in its current state is is very much like for a very specific kind of audience. It, it was always going to be that though. Yes. It's Catherine. It's fucking Catherine. Yes. It's a re-release of fucking Catherine, dude. Like, yeah. Why? Like I mean, I'm amazed do, that it right? happened in the first place. Yeah, I guess it is. I mean, yeah, you is this like the yeah, this is like the the Catherine Fess. Yeah. The, you know, you got your Persona 4 Golden, yeah. you got the new Persona 5 coming soon. Mm -hmm. They love to re-release a game with a new character. Yeah, here's a couple of new things. <laughs> and some new cutscenes. Uh, um, and this, unfortunate, like the, the online thing is a real bummer. That's, that's maybe the yeah, biggest thing that's, point yeah, right there. Uh, for yeah, me. So yes, cool. for people who want to engage with that stuff, of course. Uh, you'd rather have it work. Right. But uh, that's Catherine Full Body. It's 60 also, bucks. Re it's really 60 bucks? It's really, yeah, it's, there's like an $80 collector's Yo, what the f edition. All right, what's that, what's, um, that, what's that version come with? Let's pull that out. I have that web page open. 
over here on the computer, you know the fun thing is I was like, this computer is distracting, I'm gonna put it to sleep. I never need this in the middle of a quick look. And, and now, now here we are. Here I am, this computer up looking quickly, at this beautiful so mountain. Oh, that's a nice Windows lock screen. Screen. Yeah. See, if you had Windows Hello going, that webcam hooked up, it would look at your face. And... Um, collector edition. Uh, in Japan, nice. the limited edition includes box, okay, here we go, North America, Heart's Desire Premium Edition. Uh, it comes with a box resembling the stages of the game. The game case is a steel book. Ooh. Um, no, uh, the transparent cover is removed, no longer letting their clothes be removed. Instead of glasses, it comes with an adorable fat sheep that is a really cute plush. The fat sheep plush is, oh, okay. is pretty adorable. Right. It's like an orb. Um, comes with the Vincent's underwear, soundtrack CD, mm. uh, and an art book. Eh. So, you know. Yeah. Not for me, but if you really liked Catherine, there's some more stuff out there. Some more co collectibles. Yeah. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a weird... So yeah, that premium edition costs... If you want the plush and the undies, it's 80. 80. All right. Seems reasonable. But that's Catherine Full Body, Jeff. Thank you for checking this out for me. Third, I really wonder... Third Catherine. I really wonder if they... What, what would a fourth Catherine be? Like a uh, ca like a cute Catherine. Ga it'd be like a you know like a, a hacker. You know, it'd be like K oh, four seven. Yeah, yeah. H. Very R a very online and, and extremely then, uh, online, Catherine. R zero W N mm -hmm. Catherine. Catherine. Because she O W. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's basically Futaba though from Persona Five. Sure. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> th then it's well worn territory for them. Why not? All right, I'll see you next time. All right, Ben.